Baton Rouge has one of the highest crime rates in America. These crimes range from gun violence to property theft. Because of this, some companies choose not to head their operations in the capital region. One initiative seeks to change that, the Paige Rice Public Safety Initiative. The fund got its name from Devin Page and Allison Rice, two people with one thing in common. They both died from gun violence. Through the program's website, businesses and organizations can order, donate, and adopt cameras. They can be set up around the premises, providing law enforcement with the footage they need in the event of an emergency. But just having cameras wasn't enough for Paige Rice Chairman Clay Young. He wanted to find a way to fight crime before it occurred. One day, an email gave him the answer. They needed to collaborate with another company called Zero Eyes. I received a phone call from a local businessman telling me about it. I said, well, let me demo it, let me see it. I saw the demo and I was sold. And I felt at that moment, we gotta get this in Baton Rouge. Zero Eyes is an innovative tech company based in Pennsylvania that specializes in crime prevention. Any camera hooked up to their software feeds back to their headquarters. That's where the magic happens. When it started, founder Mike Layef found a flaw in the way the security cameras are used. Fight if something was stolen, um, no one's really watching them active. And so he began to look further into this and he saw a fact pattern that then existed, which showed that during these active shooter events, an individual brandishes a firearm typically ahead of time. So he was like, why don't we utilize the technology and come up with an analytic that can identify a brandished firearm? That was in 2018. And in the years to follow, Leif worked with a team to establish a database of guns. The result? A camera system that can identify guns within seconds and alert local law enforcement. Locations like Triple S off North Foster and Baton Rouge decided they've seen enough crime, so they partnered with the Page Rice Initiative. After submitting a request, cameras were brought out to their location. They send their live footage to the police department, where their systems watch and wait. Triple S is a rare example of a store with more than a few cameras. In fact, they have around a dozen. But only one of these is a special police-connected camera. Young says any business can sign up through their website. Um, they can also donate a camera. Uh, ExxonMobil, for instance, bought four cameras to go at their uh, facility here and donated six cameras. There's an important distinction to be had here. Not every camera is automatically plugged into the Zero Eyes database. Zero Eyes has a camera minimum requirement, mostly based on resolution, which most businesses meet. Cameras that are not tied into the Zero Eyes database connect to the Sheriff's Office and the Baton Rouge Police Department. On February 26, 2024, the Page Rice Camera Initiative changed its title to the Page Rice Public Safety Initiative with the inclusion of other safety measures like license plate tracking. One of the main goals we want to accomplish really with the fund is that we want the public to understand that there are a number of people working to make us as safe as we can be. If you like this episode of Business Reports Bottom Line, don't forget to subscribe. Our channel covers multiple topics from industry to laws. If you have any ideas, don't hesitate to leave a comment. It might just appear in our next video.